Hello guys, Sixty Tricks here today, bringing an awesome video hopefully and today I will be doing my weekly uh, chat really, uh, what my channel's come to and you know What do you want? My cat's just meowed at me. How rude is that? I was talking then. Go on, go out. Anyway, as I was saying, there, there will be like a little review in this video of Black Ops 3 and what I think of it. I've played about 40 hours of it, so <laughs> I've completed the campaign. I'm a level 17 on zombies, I think. Um, <coughs> level 30 online. Uh, yeah, I've had quite a bit of time because I've been a bit ill this week. I know it seems weird that Call of Duty comes out when I'm ill, but no, I genuinely have been ill. I've only been off one day though. Um, yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, a bit ill and I'm playing Call of Duty. So yeah, I did end up getting the Harden Edition, which is really, really cool. Uh, I'll show you, what, what should I show you first? I'll show you the steel case, if you can't see it. Um, that's it. And then if you go down to the other side, there's uh, the zombie thing that was on the poster. But I didn't get the poster because that was available in the UK, I don't think. And there's the side of it. If I go to open it, then that's what the inside looks like. Uh, that's not the actual season pass because you don't, you don't actually get a season pass in the game. And um, there's that. I'm using the beta gameplay because I don't have it for PS4. So it's, uh, I got it for Xbox One because I thought hey, I've got more friends on that, and then all my friends have been a bit, you know, they've been a knobheads to me this week, so I bought it and I've got no one to play with. I mean, like, there's one guy who, who goes on it with me, but I'm mainly on it on my own. I do, I do wish I got it for PS4, because as you can see, it's for the Xbox One. Um, I'll show you the nine cards. It does come in this, like, really cool packet which opens up and I've tried to keep this like good condition uh, this is a Reaper specialist from the game if you look at the back if you want to pause it and read it I know it'll be very small on your screen because this is only like, in the corner of the uh, what is it so that's that's a Reaper right um, this one's a battery I haven't played as her yet because um I had a lot to but I played as the Reaper on like uh, custom games with my mates. It's pretty cool actually. The gun thing's really OP. Now I've just started playing as a nomad and he is pretty awesome. Like the way you can come back to life, I think I think that's really cool. I haven't tried his other ability, but yeah, I've, I've just started playing as him and he's really really cool. So once you're level 28, is it? Yeah, once you're level 28, start playing as him because it's really cool. Uh, the fire break. This is the last one you unlock, I believe. This is also really, really cool. Um, the flamethrower looks OP. I haven't used it yet, but it looks OP. I saw it on Facebook, actually, which is weird. That he was just running out, around with flamethrower and he was just, like, killing him. It was pretty cool. Uh, the Outrider. I played as her in the beta quite a bit. And I believe in this bit I am playing as the Ruin, Gravity Spikes. But, yeah, this is really cool. Next, oh crap, just drop one. Oh. You know, I'll use this one because this, this is a second to last. It's rather, this is the last, and the other one's. Oh, shut up, it's one of them. This is Spectre, I can see it because the name's on the back, so I'm not actually that clever. I can remember some of the names, but not all of them. So yeah, um, I would read you the stuff out, but I can't be asked. But yeah, I don't really know much about that one because I have played as it. Um, Seraph. Which has the annihilator, which is so OP. Like that pistol is OP as anything. I'll bring it up. It's Chinese Immortal 54, I think it is. If you've played the campaign, you know what I'm on about. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, Profit. This card's really cool as well. Uh, it, just just gonna say, these cards are like. I, I know it's just a card, but it's really good, like quality card. It's not a crap one, like. The print on it's really good, and there's so much detail in the picture. If you don't have a look, see if you can see it, but this camera's crap. Uh, so yeah, it's actually a really, really cool like design. I haven't played as Profit yet, but I probably will do once once I unlock him. And this is like my second favorite, which I've played as the most, which is Ruin. He is so awesome. Like 
is it? He just boof and everyone dies. Like as you can see, he's using a tomahawk or that, which I think think's kind of weird. But you know, so that's the nine like multiplayer cards that you get. Um, you see when you open, there's like a little big strap there which glues right on. I'm trying to get it into the shot, and it glues on. But you can take it off and just stick it back on, which I do, which I kind of like to keep it in good condition. So I'll just put that back in there. Yep. And then you just fold it up, and that goes, as you can see, goes now. Um, I'll show you the actual box now. I can't show you the box that the hand edition comes in. It's like that. The hard edition, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. As you can see, I might make this a bit bigger, like just so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, the back it shows you what actually comes in the box. So I'll uh, the steel book which you've seen, the limited edition special cards which I showed you, showed you, and the digital content. And I'll show you what that. Yeah, you know it's a redeem code, but I've already redeemed it, so there's no point. In uh, being a fanny and not showing you it. So on the front you get like the new town, uh, and then the back you get the giant, which is just awesome, and the soundtrack, which is pretty crap. I've listened to it, and the weaponized one one five and the cyborg, which are both pretty cool. I've I've used both of them quite a bit, and I believe cyborg was in Black Ops two, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think it is. If if you yeah, that's question of week was cyborg. In your uh, in Black Ops Two, and if it was, did you buy it? Because I, I think I bought it. I think I did. But yeah, I hope I got a friend request on Facebook. I'm popular, mate. <laughs> I wish. Uh, yeah, did you buy Cyborg? That's the question of the week. Did you buy Cyborg in Black Ops Two? And I do want to apologise for not uploading last Saturday. It's because I was just playing Black Ops Three all day. Because honestly, I want to be honest. It isn't. It isn't like the best Call of Duty. It's not as good as Black Ops Two, but it is really, really good. Like, it's genuinely a really good game, and you know, I wish, I wish people had, you know, give it, give it a chance because I don't think enough people are giving it a chance. I mean, <clears throat> I'm not. Oh, my voice is going. Hmm. I'm not like one of the people who hear every single Call of Duty that comes out. I just don't expect much from it because I know it's Call of Duty. And I don't even know if this beta gameplay is any good or not, but I don't really expect much from Call of Duty except from shooting. You know, that's why I enjoy it. But people who are like, oh, well, we want something different. When I mean, we give it something different, they don't like it, and that that really annoys me. So they should like, you know, give them a chance. Um, before I uh, run out of time, I want to talk about the campaign because the campaign has nothing to do. With the actual Black Ops storyline, that's why I was so looking forward to campaign that it didn't even have anything to do with it. And I was like, "Oh, great!" I think it mentioned Ramen Endes once. That's that's it. They only mentioned them once, which was you know pretty, pretty crap. Like I was expecting more like Sergeant Once and all that, but even though he'd be dead, they'd find some way to put him in, like you know, with the neural interface. And I mean, all that was really cool. I've. Uh, Unlock the nightmares mode, which is also very cool. It's just a reskin, basically. But yeah, it's more interesting than the actual campaign, which uh, I can tell you a lot about the campaign. I like the way they've made like the safe house, but it doesn't really still give you that replayability like they they probably want you to have because it is pretty crap. Uh, campaign's pretty crap overall. I mean, six seven hours. It's, there's like a few bits on me go what like the ending. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but like what like. If you ask me, well, if you ask my cousin, he was actually playing it with me uh, the last five missions, I think. We were just sat here for three hours just playing it, uh, caught up on my TV. And was, because he doesn't actually have it, and was like, you know what, let's, let's finish it together. And he oh, didn't understand all the story because he only just started it. And like, at the end, I was like, well, what? And he didn't even care because like, he didn't understand it. So you need to understand the story to get the ending, really. I'm just going to tell you that. So make sure when you're playing it, try and understand it, even though it is a very hard. Like campaign to understand because it's just all over the place. I don't really thought about it very well, but yeah, I'd, I'd give the campaign about six out of ten, which is pretty bad. Uh, no, no, I'm running out of gameplay. Uh, but yeah, uh, one more thing, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna talk to you about zombies. They have done really well with zombies this year. 
oh this three year whatever it is uh, Shadows of Evil is really really good it took me a few games to get like where everything is in the map but no no, no I've got, I am actually like, pack punch I have survived to a high round on it but it's really good it's because like every time I play it like they go down who I play with like I'm not, I don't play with very good people <laughs> I mean I'm not saying I'm the greatest but like at least I can get to round 32 on my own that's the highest I've got to on giant which uh, I, I've got a strategy which I will uh, try to show you guys and I, I, I think I'll do that you know during the week I'll show you my strategy uh, it's a pretty cool strategy if you want to use it for yourself which you probably will if I uh, upload that um, I've got like, this purple thing around the, the uh, commentary of how long it's going for I don't know what that means I hope it doesn't delete um, <clears throat> so yeah Shadows of Evil is it's a uh, very tight corner there's no way to like rate train or anything which I'm, I'm very disappointed with because I thought you'd be able to rate train and that was one of the funniest parts of zombies but no it's like kind of linear you know corridors and stuff it's not a corridor it's like a street but I think there's like one open space which isn't even big enough for a rate train you can easily get cornered in that map but uh, yeah that map I'd give about uh, 8 out of 10 yeah, it's pretty good, but it has its flaws. Uh, I really like the new mystery box and the teddy bear. They look really, really cool. Um, and to the giant, the last thing of this week's like review kind of thing. Uh, the giant is so good. Like I know it's just Dory's remade, but like the, what, what they've changed. It's like every game the perks have spawned in a different location. But if you know where it is, then it's pretty good. Like, if you know where every location is, then that's fine. Because I, I've I've learned it. I've uh, think there's 32 on my own. I've got two by using a certain strategy, which I will upload in a few days if you want me to. I can only upload to five minutes on the Xbox One, so that's uh, pretty crap. But I will manage to do that for you guys. Uh, I could put it onto my OneDrive, but I haven't got my OneDrive active on my computer. I could do it. I'm just very lazy. But yeah. If you've played Dorees, then you'll know what the giant is. But there's like a few changes, like the graphics are obviously a lot better. And if you look in the background, there's a big like giant's head from Origins, and that's really really cool. Hopefully, they come back in a different map. And yeah, overall, I give that map about a nine out of ten because that's just amazing, and I love it. And there's no flaws to it whatsoever. And that. But you know, nine out of ten because we played it before. They could have added more rooms. I got bummed up nose. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy this uh, week's episode or just review kind of thing, then please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Well that's awkward, I pressed the wrong controller. You see I have two controllers here and I don't know which one was on. Then I looked at this and I looked at this and this one's broken and this one's not. So I don't know. Alright? Alright? But I'll see you in the next video.